I can see what you see not. Vision milky like eyes rot. When you turn, they will be gone. Whispering their hidden song. All right. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel here. We, um, I haven't been online for a while, but uh, everybody knows what's coming up soon. Uh, the, the internet is blowing up with Path of Exile 2, the uh, early access, and uh, I'm as stoked as anyone else. Uh, I'm a new player to the game. Looking really forward to throwing myself into this madness, which is Path of Exile. I've heard a lot of the first game. I played it a little bit now and then, but I just never had the time to get myself into the game. I took myself up to level 17 and uh, I noticed that the game had a nice quality to it. And I know it's a game that I would really like to get several hundred hours into, if not thousand hours. But at the time when the game was released, I, I didn't play video games. I was in a relationship and I had so many other things going on in my life that video games kind of took a little uh, step to the side, unfortunately. When I later got single again, uh, I still really didn't know about the game. I didn't know it existed. And uh, I played a lot of Diablo 3 back in those days. And I come from a background where I enjoy a lot of D1 and D2. Uh, I got I mean, I played Diablo 1 and I got so excited every time I wanted to play it and uh, I nerded myself down into it so much. So I remember this uh, this poem or whatever, whatever it was. I, I can't remember why I, I learned it because I just thought it was such a cool... Uh, it just was such a cool text. Uh, and I think you know which one it is. It's the one... Uh, I can see what you see not. Vision milky like eyes rot. When you turn, they will be gone. Whispering their hidden song. And then you see what cannot be. Shadow moves where light should be. Out of darkness, out of mind. Cast down into the hall of the blind. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just had to do it. Uh, but anyway, that poem, I, I really enjoy that poem. And um, so Diablo has been a part of my life for a long time. And uh, then Diablo 4 came along and I've start, I have started to learn about the Path of Exile somewhere between Diablo 3 and Diablo 4. And I started playing Path of Exile and I've heard that the game was really, really, really deep. and. It, it felt like I just wanted to wait for uh, Diablo 4, which I did. And I set it all up. I played it during my free period uh, where I was free for four weeks. And I put in around um, 170 hours during those four weeks. Um, so I played the whole campaign and I really loved it. The only thing that I was kind of disappointed about was that I couldn't play as a Crusader or a Templar. But uh, then again, I thought like, yeah, well, maybe that class will come later. And then I went out to work. Uh, I work out on oil rigs, so I was away for two weeks. Then uh, I was really stoked when I came back. Uh, so I jumped in again and uh, started playing this new season, the, the first season. And I remember they had all these bugs where you couldn't enter certain areas. You just got stuck there and uh, couldn't get past certain points. And it was the overall feel to it. It didn't feel like it had a lot of content in the end game. Um, so I got kind of bummed out. And then I didn't play it anymore. And I tried to get back into it uh, during one of the, uh, the other seasons. But... Uh, I was like, I felt like I was finished with the game already. Uh, I was also playing as a barbarian and I know they nerfed the barbarian and that didn't feel good. I mean, why nerf? I mean, isn't it better to just try to balance it towards the other end? Um, so that, that didn't feel good to go back into the game with my barbarian that I was used to and just feeling that he, 
he was a lot weaker. And then I heard that there was about to uh, come another season, uh, the second season, I thought, and I think. And they were talking about new monsters and everything. But then I found out and I saw that it was the same kind of monsters. I think it was that uh, vampire season. And it was the same kind of monsters. They were just altered a little bit. And I felt that's kind of weak. And it's not, it's not what I'm looking for. I want some more fresh stuff, you know. And uh, then it was a skill tree. Uh, I felt like the skill tree were, was lacking um, just more options, uh, especially towards the lower end. Um, it just didn't feel enough. So uh, then I saw the Path of Exile 2 skill tree <laughs> and I just felt like this is so cool. Uh, it just feels like there is tons of different kind of options here. And I know some people get scared when they see it, they get overwhelmed, but I feel excited when I see it. I think it's so cool. Uh, so I'm just going to throw myself into the game. I ain't going to try and follow some certain build. Maybe I will do that later uh, after the game has been released, but I want to play as a Templar, but I can't do that until the game is fully released. So I'm going to go with either well, I'm going to play both of these classes, Warrior and Mercenary. But I don't know which one I'm going to start with. Probably the Warrior. But I feel the Mercenary is a different class. I think it's really cool with a shooter class. And I also like the grenades. So, uh, well, I'm just going to I'm just gonna see what I feel, feel like doing when I'm starting up the game. Okay. Also, um, I really, really think it's cool that we got the ascend Ascension Trials um, that's going to give us new classes to choose from. And it makes me feel like, you know, 32 different kind of subclasses. It makes the game so much deeper and it makes you feel like there is tons of content here. Especially when we're talking about the end game, which supposedly is massive as well. Um, they put all the the whole development team several months way back. They just put the whole development team on uh, creating end game. And I really think it's also cool that you can put like jewels and stuff into the uh, skill tree. And I saw the jewels you can put into the skill tree. And I think that's really cool. Like how we can get maybe a passive effect that surrounds a couple of nodes. Or you put the jewel into the node and you can get passive effect on some other nodes around. So I think that's really, really a neat different kind of thing. The only thing I think might be a little bit controversial, which I'm also going to exp exploit a little bit, maybe. I know it was uh, Rax. Um, he talked about this uh, other guy, this YouTuber. He talked about a mechanic that you can pause when you're in a boss fight. Or you can just jump out of it or exit and uh, I think people are going to exploit it a lot because I know I'm going to do it. I mean, especially if I jump into a boss fight and I feel I, I'm going to get my ass kicked here. Of course, I'm going to jump out if I can and try again. But what's the point then? Um, I re I'm, you, maybe you need to help me understand this, but because I've, I, what I understand is that you can choose to fight the boss and if you lose, you have to like go several steps back and redo a lot of stuff. That's what I might take on it, what I've heard. But since you can just like log out, you could just restart the boss from the last last checkpoint or something like that. I don't know what to feel about that, but um, yeah, you're just gonna have to wait and see, okay? I thought it was also pretty funny about the, the CEO or whatever his name was, this Diablo CEO who tweeted something about the, uh, I mean, it was just minutes after this live stream from uh, GGG. Almost immediately tweeted out that, well, I feel like uh, we need to have a new standard here, like a new word called like Diablo-like. And uh, the whole tweet was just weird. I mean, wh who tweets something like that after a, uh, like a, com a competitor or however you want to call it? just had a live stream for an hour about their game why not congratulate them or say something positive like show that you are actually positive toward 
towards a healthy competitor because that's how you make better games you you, you see a competitor you see what they're doing and you can take ideas or be inspired or whatever but even if you don't really uh, like what you see um i think you should like put that stuff up on x it just shows that you are afraid and i think that's what's blizzard blizzard is afraid right now because this uh path of exile 2 i think it's going to be a uh, i think it's going to be a phenomenal game these guys have been uh, making this game for 10 years they started right after they were finished with the first game i think just from watching those guys i, I get the feeling the same feeling that I got when I watched a lot of the Lord of the Rings uh, pre-production interviews when I followed that production before the movies came out I was a huge nerd I was in the fan club and everything I got the magazine uh, each second month you know and uh, my name is uh, in the end credits of the movies <laughs> uh, the, 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 um, the extended editions and I just got the same feeling from these guys on GDG when it comes to the passion and how they speak about their game. They just feel they feel so genuine, you know, and that's what uh, makes me excited about this game a lot. I don't get the same feeling about Blizzard anymore. Uh, it feels like they're just a big corporation. They're just out there to earn money. They don't really care about the gamer anymore um too bad i mean we all know it's not the same blizzard that started it so i mean it's something completely different and hopefully ggg will stay the same like forever because it was would be sad if they just started to like sell out or quit so uh please stay the same thinking i'm gonna start stream this game I didn't want to stream Throne of Liberty. I didn't stream that game uh, at all. I just felt like this is a game I just want to play by myself. Um, because there's a lot of, you know, you got to play with other players and you really, really need to focus. And I'd rather play this game a lot, live stream. Um, but yeah, that's just me ranting a lot and uh, talking a lot about this game. Um, Maybe not that interesting for some of you because you, most of you already know everything there is to know about this game. But um, I'm so excited that there's a game now coming out that is really, really dark, really, really dark uh, from what I understand. Many games this year have been a big disappointment. A lot of games have been full of DEI and all of that crap that nobody really likes um i, I think destroy the uh, gaming industry from within but i think the tide is turning and i think that uh, this game will be one of the games that will save it we really need to go back to roots and uh since uh, ggd is a huge fan and uh, used a lot of the inspiration from diablo 2 I know it's going to be a huge success already because from what I've seen um, it, it it will be a home run but I also see that this will be a game that kind of is going to rev revolutionize uh, revolutionize is the right word the uh, action RP genre because the, they are throwing so much into a game now with so many mechanics so many different kind of end games and i mean it blows my mind how much this game has then you see the other youtubers out there that actually play the game and they say that whatever you've seen already on video clips and live streams and the live stream from the developers you don't understand what you're heading into and that makes me feel even more excited because one game that made me feel really excited to play and i was actually not interested in this game it was the elden ring and when i started playing that game it made me feel like i felt when i was a little kid and i played the game and i really didn't understand what i was doing and that ex itself was so exciting it felt like 
this magic world and it was all new and nobody held my hand and often i didn't understand english i was maybe seven years old you know we didn't have that english in our classes when i was that young uh, like i was playing the first zelda the first link uh, zelda games the you remember the the golden cartridge on uh, nintendo 8 bits that's just one of my fondest memories i played that with my older brother and i didn't have a clue what we were doing but it felt so magical so exciting so i was playing elden ring i felt the same i mean you thrown into this world you have this magical little fairy or whatever it was this golden stuff flying away and showing you should be going somewhere over there and uh, you find these little bits of lore here and there and the enemies is it just it is what it is is that that's the difficult that is set and you just have to deal with it and it makes everything so much more exciting and uh, intriguing you know and uh, that's also another part that i like about path of xrt is that there is no difficulty levels it's it's the level the developers set and that's it deal with it cry do whatever you got to do to survive uh it just feels much more uh hardcore and genuine you know but from my understanding is that act uh, one to three during the early access that will have a higher difficulty the second time because we ain't going to be able to play this act four to six until the uh Till the game is released so that's how they solve the, the, the problem with uh, us being able to level up to uh, end the game during the early access but i guess you understand most of you understand what i'm talking about here that's why i got so tired i was playing like the game the horizon game i was super excited playing those games uh good looking games really good looking games but you know when i started playing them I couldn't stand still for 15 seconds and join the view until she started talking with me like maybe we should find a ladder around here so I'm, yeah well maybe i just want to look at this beautiful vista without you fucking talking to me all the time uh, that's how i felt later on so i didn't finish the first game until right before the second game started and I had forgotten what I felt about that game. I remember it when I started playing the second game because she was doing the same thing in that game. And that's why I quit that game as well. I just get annoyed about it, you know? And uh, maybe I sound pessimistic now, but that's me. I mean, I don't want to have a game where the main character is telling me exactly what I'm supposed to do or have uh, yellow markers all around the place showing me where I'm supposed to climb. It feels like uh, the game thinks that I'm a retard. And well, I'm, I might not be the smartest guy around, but uh, that makes me feel like I'm really, really stupid. Or this game is made for an eight year old kid. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm excited about Path of Exile 2. Uh, I, 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 I really want the game that I can invest myself into a lot. And Diablo 4 wasn't it. It's, for sure wasn't it I, I really tried to play the end game there but it didn't it wasn't enough it was far from enough and i was so fucking sorry i'm cursing here but i was so disappointed about that class that wannabe tarzan class you're throwing out some uh, ghost animals i i was i'm almost mad because i wanted a crusader you know i wanted a big ass guy with a big ass shield felt so good being one of those holy heroic good guys just you against all the darkness and hell and the diabolical madness and i well it's cool playing as a barbarian but it doesn't have the same contrast to it you know and i like the holy spells i always like that so uh i'm really looking forward for the templar only thing that I got a little bit disappointed over by Passive Exile 2, but I later got over, was the fact that you can't make your own character. Um, it is what it is, but I also understand why the developers didn't want to put some time into doing that, because we won't see the characters either way. But I would like to be able to change gender or somehow faces, maybe. Um, I would like to play a young heroic guy as a Templar and not an old old guy. 
<laughs> but uh, it's a minor problem, you know. It's something you you will overlook it either way. I also heard that the reason is that there is a story behind each character. I've noticed when you're playing, um, not when I'm playing, but I've seen other playing. Also, they talk during uh, boss events. The boss might say something and it sounds like the character you're playing is also talking back to the boss and those little details i love it i really really think that's a cool detail and i've noticed also that the art everything in the game is very very nice uh, they have put so much details into everything so i'm excited to go into the lore and uh, i'm gonna watch one of those uh, lore videos from Maybe Path of Exile 1, if there is something I need to catch up with. And if there is something you want me to know before I start playing this Path of Exile 2, put it in the comments and uh, just come and hang out when I started to stream this game and uh, help me out if there's something you want me to know. I've been talking a lot about this game of now of how excited I am. I know everybody's just waiting for uh, this Friday and uh, it feels like early Christmas. It really does. And uh, yeah, I just wish you all a cool evening now and I see you on the flip side. All right.